Hey everyone, welcome back to Brickhead Barista. Thanks for joining me again. So today is Chinese New Year, the Spring Festival. So to any Chinese people watching, Happy New Year, wishing you all the luck, health and happiness for the year ahead. So to celebrate Chinese New Year, now I'm not Chinese obviously, but any excuse to build Lego, we are going to be building this set here. Now this is a beautiful, beautiful set. I was lucky enough to get for my birthday. It is the Spring Festival Family Reunion Celebration Set. Now, some of you, a lot of you may have seen that. I think it's a stunning, stunning set and I'm really excited to have it. So I'm gonna do the build of that today. Hopefully we'll be putting it in the city at some point. So let's get into it. Even the box for this set makes me happy. It's just so colorful and vibrant, I love it. The design is just stunning. Now the set comes with 13 minifigures. 13 is a lucky number in Chinese culture, so we'll take a more detailed look at each of those later on in the video. And here is the completed build from the front. I'm really, really pleased with it. It's such a fun build and I think it looks amazing. So let's take a look around in a little bit more detail. So on the left hand side of the ground floor is this little stall where somebody's painting good luck messages for the new year. And a lovely little flower stand. Everything's very brightly coloured in this set, I really love it. And then outside the front door is this little fruit stand. I think that's what they're selling there. Nice little fruit tree of some kind next to the front door. I love all the detail here. Look at the lanterns, the beautiful little red mini figureheads, I guess they are, with dragon print on them. And then the artwork sticker elements of all the writing around the front door. I suppose I should figure out what they say to find somebody who knows. The detail inside is also really, really lovely. There's the reception desk just through the front door. This really bright poster on the back wall. There is a computer that sits on the desk, but I've moved that so you can see the sticker element there. And on the right hand side of the ground floor is this large fish tank that takes up the whole side of the building, viewable from outside on the street and inside in reception. Now I like to think this is just a decorative fish tank and it's not part of the menu. Could be either. 
So on the ground floor as well as reception, we have the kitchen on the right hand side there, the Peking duck hanging up, and the little cooker there. I enjoyed building that, that was a fun little build. And then the entrance hall here, flowers with the staircase behind it leading up to the first floor. Here is the back of reception. Now, I don't know what these studs are for, I haven't missed any parts, but you can just pull this out, I guess for playability, and that takes you in to the reception desk. So presumably that's why that's removable. Now if anyone is hungry I would look away now, because on the first floor we have the main seating and eating area. table for six, and this actually moves around like it would do in a normal Chinese restaurant. So that is very cool. And then something we will avoid is the karaoke machine over in the corner. You do not want to hear me sing. More decoration outside the door to the toilets. I do love all the sticker elements and the pictures in this set. And then just behind the door you can see the customer toilet. And for those who want a more intimate romantic setting there is some alfresco outdoor dining on the roof. These lanterns look incredible, I love them. Be nice to get them lit up somehow. And then on the right hand side is a little drop down platform on the roof where it looks like we're going to be launching some fireworks for the Chinese New Year celebrations. One of the great things about this set is the sheer number of minifigures that you get with it. Just look at them all at the back there. I'll show you each one, but first I just want to show you these little mini builds that come with the set. We've got a little food cart here serving wontons or dumplings out the front of the restaurant. So that's pretty cool. And then what I think is a little dessert trolley there and then our team of minifigures so we've got the the waiting staff and kitchen staff here on the left we've got a little waiter here love his uniform it's detailed dragon on the back is awesome and then we've got an older lady here same uniform with a pot of tea, tray, silver dragon on the back and then we have presumably our head chef here, very happy chap with a ginormous meat cleaver, presumably about to prepare some Peking duck, is a gold dragon on the back. And then some family members. Grandfather type guy here with a camera. Maybe this is his wife, who knows? Happy grandmother type minifigure with a beautiful tunic. Love the colours there. Might put her working at the flower part of the build. Then we've got a couple of kids here, a little boy and a little girl, both with their little red envelopes for Chinese New Year, presumably containing some pocket money. I used to live in Hong Kong and 
I always used to look forward to getting my little red envelope. I was obviously a lot younger then. She's very happy about it. Maybe she's got some money to spend on Lego. And then we've got this young lady here with a selfie stick. Well, that's my first minifigure with a selfie stick. That's very cool. And then these two here, which I think might be a couple. We've got this young girl here with her mobile phone. And then this chap here has just bought some flowers at the flower store outside the restaurant. So he's going to give those to her. And then two more left. Fairly plain, these guys. Another lady with a mobile phone. And somebody who's clearly excited about karaoke. So we'll get him on the karaoke machine a bit later. Now there is one final minifigure with the set, which I absolutely love, and this is obviously to celebrate Chinese New Year and the Year of the Dragon. And that is this guy here with this amazing dragon headpiece. He is awesome. And that is all the minifigures that come with the set. Which one's your favourite? So that was the family reunion celebration set, celebrating Chinese New Year, the Spring Festival and Year of the Dragon. I really, really, really enjoyed building that. It's such a beautiful set. Let me know if you've got it as well. I'm really pleased that I've got it to put it into the city. Now, it isn't a building that will fit easily into the city at the moment with my current layout because it's open backed. So I need to wait for the right place to put it but it will definitely be going in and hopefully very soon. I have seen a few mock builds online where we can enclose it, turn it into a proper modular building. I've seen one recently that combines this set with the noodle shop. So that might be something that I do in the future, but for now I'm gonna leave it as it is and enjoy it in its natural state in the way it was intended before I mock it. But yeah, I really, really enjoyed it, and hopefully you enjoyed watching me build it. So, with regards to the city, next step is to build the table, which I still haven't put in, but I will do that. And then I'm going to crack on with another build. It will probably be the bank, as I discussed in my last video, so that's the plan. Put a table up, build the bank. So if you want to see that, check out my next video. Thanks a lot.